On the 20th of October 2005, Ronaldinho broke the internet by hitting four crossbars in a row and the ball didn't hit the ground once. It was the first video on YouTube to reach 1 million views and probably the first viral football skills video in the modern age. But even by Ronaldinho's level of skill, it got fans thinking, is that actually real or was it edited? We saw a similar style of clip with David Beckham hitting three bin shots on the beach, which got fans on the real versus fake debate. But let's face it, that's what advertisers want, to be spoken about and cause debate. And that's when a clip really does go viral. No doubt Ronaldinho's freestyle skills were 100% real, but I wanted to dig a little deeper into how this video could have been pulled off and try to recreate it for myself. After doing some research, it seems there is a very high chance that it was edited. I even found a comment on a film that Goal.com did about the advert from a filmmaker that actually worked on the shoot with Nike, and he said that the balls were thrown back to Ronaldinho and the visual effects were used to merge the clips together. The clip was done so well to make it look real. If you look at the shake of the camera, it looks like just some random person filming on a phone or a video camera. Remember, this was a night commercial and most of their ads before this were high production film like pieces. This ad was completely different and I would say perfect for the internet. It was pure raw magic and a clip that would make people smile and believe that anything was possible with the ball, just like watching Ronaldinho on the pitch. Okay, so with all that knowledge in mind, I think it's pretty clear that this video was probably edited, so I'm going to try and recreate it here on a very bog standard grassroots football pitch. So there's two tricks to doing this. The first one is having two balls. So I'm going to be on the edge of the penalty area, hitting the balls towards the crossbar, and as this first one travels, the second one will be thrown back, and we've just got to do this four times. So it's going to be a bit of a test of my actual like hitting the ball, a test of my ping, but also a test of my control. And we do it all on a tripod, so we're pretty much ready to go. We've got set up. The reason we do it on a tripod is just way easier in the edit to add things like camera shake and actually make it look more realistic. And then finally, we just need to get a, a shot of the ball, in theory, hitting the crossbar which can be used for sound and also a bit of movement because when you hit the crossbar obviously it moves a little bit doesn't it so no idea how this is going to go down i've actually tried it before but i've never tried it on a full size pitch so um let's go do it So we've been trying to do this now for like 15 minutes. It's so hard to get the timing right, but I think we've got our flow and we're going to get the clip soon. Final one. Yeah. Nice. We think we got the clip. That was way harder than I expected. We've been filming for, I think, about 20 minutes, which is why I'm absolutely drenched. So before we leave the field, though, we just need to check that we've, we've got what we need. That's the one. So we've got four crossbars. We've got one crossbar to blend it all together. Man, that was hard, but let's see if I can edit that together and make it look somewhat like the Ronaldinho masterpiece. Okay guys, so I've finished the edit. I think it looks okay. It's clearly not as good as the original, but I just wanted that challenge to see if I could put something together that was similar. I've taken a lot of time over this final product, so enjoy. Let us know in the comments what you think about the whole situation. Was it real? Was it edited? And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.